the VA team was notoriously insular, but we started having some contact with Firefox people, in particular uh, around Asm.js. So this is like a whole monkey wrench that got thrown at us, the Asm.js thing, um, because Firefox, uh, the Mozilla people came up with this idea of like a subset of JavaScript where you could compile into it, and it was kind of like a low-level machine. And so they were compiling C++ into Asm.js, and they had like a custom thing for Asm.js that made it go really fast. And so we were like terrified that this is <laughs> going to take over the web. And so TurboFan was in some ways a response to that. Um, well, let's make, that was what, like the first thing we're thinking, okay, TurboFan should be able to do really well on Asm.js code. And so we like did, that turned out to be easy and hard. We did it the hard way. Um, it was an easy task that we did the hard way. In particular, like we wanted to have all the uh, analysis that you need to make the Asm.js optimizations be general enough it would kick in for regular JavaScript. So we thought really hard about how to make the numerical analysis and the range analysis and the representation analysis just do Asm.js as a special case. Mm. And I would say that worked about 85% well. It was 85% well enough that it was better than Crankshaft that we could turn it on for Asm.js and then we could get some skin in the game with TurboFan. That took probably about a year, maybe a year and a half to get TurboFan to that point. Um, but then after that, uh, we started to talk into Mozilla and it turns out that they're not, they're not actually bad people. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they're actually really cool people. And so we started working on WebAssembly because uh, I remember I had this meeting with Luke and he's like, yeah, we're thinking about maybe, maybe we should have a bytecode. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so that's how WebAssembly got started. It was like at the end of 2014, Luke and I were talking. And, you know, Luke and Alone and Dan had worked on Asm.js. And then once I got in with like, yes, let's do a bytecode. And my manager didn't kill me for working <laughs> with the Mozilla people. Uh, then WebAssembly got going. And by... By about early 2015 or maybe, yeah, the spring of 2015, uh, on the Google side, the native client, people who also had a relationship with Mozilla, they got interested. So JF Bastian and his team started to be involved in WebAssembly. And then it became, and, you know, Luke did some diplomacy with Microsoft, and I did some diplomacy with <laughs> JavaScript core people. Uh, also, again, personal connection, Philip Pislow was a student at Purdue, and I was his TA, and he was the effectively the tech lead of JavaScript Core at that point. We basically bought him some beer and talked him into WebAssembly. <laughs> 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 and that's how it got going in 2015. And probably by the end of that year, I was so deep in that that my manager just asked me, like, why don't you just do that full time? Mm -hmm. And then we'll work on JavaScript on the side. You don't have to worry about that. And I'm like, that sounds all right. <laughs> 